The Utah city of Wellington has always been a shining example of how towns, state governments, and private entities can come together and create beautiful environments for outdoor recreation. The Community Pond was created in assistance with many organizations and serves as a reminder of this. And now, thanks to state parks and others, Wellington is paving the way forward yet again by adding a two-mile stretch of off-road trail to give access to the pond and an impressive amount of other trails. It'll be about two miles long to go from the pond through the back way and get out onto Farnham Road and then take off from there. Um, it's going to open so many doors. You'll be able to go out to the Jurassic National Monument from Wellington, Utah. You can go out, um, see the Price River, Marsing Ranch Overlook from Wellington, Utah, and it's just all going to be so nice. I just can't wait. So how are Joan and the rest of Wellington making this happen? Well, it's all thanks to state parks and some very helpful organizations. With Nielsen's Concrete and Scamp Excavation providing some essential materials, all that's needed is some financial assistance. This has come in the form of a Fiscal Incentive Grant, or FIG Grant for short, and it's all helped Wellington get the ball rolling and become a paradise for OHV enthusiasts. Last year, one of my new council members applied for this uh, Fiscal Incentive Grant, a FIG Grant, and we were awarded it, and it was $12,500. Because this goes on the outskirts, our trail goes on the outskirts of some private property, I wanted to fence my trail so that um, people would not be going off into the private property uh, that's around there. So I'm using my $12,500, which I'm so excited about, to buy fencing. Um, we're excited about it. We're going to probably go after some more. Uh, fiscal incentive grant money and, and continue on to make our trail that when people come, shoot, they can go ride or they can stop at the pond and let the kids fish or whatever they want to do. Of course, none of this would be possible without the wonderful local volunteers assisting with digging and construction. And they are all just as excited about the opportunity to have this trail. Me and my son that lives here uh, have side to sides and my grandkids that live here love it they ride a lot they think it's awesome and anything my grandkids think is cool i do be awesome to throw a tent and some sleeping bags in the side to side and go for three or four days five days all right outside my backyard i don't have to drive to salt lake or traffic or nothing it's a whole lot of fun to be out on the dirt and you're looking at it and you're saying now is this something i would want to ride if i was out here riding and to try to make it safe for other people that, and, and just to see the wildlife, it's just so worth it. There's nothing like volunteering. From the community pond to a brand new strip of trail, the city of Wellington truly loves connecting with outdoor enthusiasts of every kind. If you're looking forward to visiting and hopping on this trail, stay tuned. The trail is set to be accomplished before the end of the year. So keep your vehicles warmed up and ready somewhere along the way to Wellington. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase.